before we get started on today's video, I'd like to say give a shout out and say hi to my really good friends, Elijah, Sarah Lynn, and Brandon. And we miss you guys and can't wait till we can see y'all again. And I hope you enjoy this video. I know I've talked about this composting toilet a lot and I'm no carpenter so it's not perfect but I wanted to do a small video a short video about how to make one if you go online there's lots of different tutorials on how to make them this is not going to be a tutorial I've already built it and I'm not going to go through and build another one just to make a video about it but I'm going to show you this one and what how it came out there's many different ways to make a composting toilet or you can shell out a thousand to two thousand dollars and just buy one but I prefer to make one this cost um, I think I had to scrap wood and the toilet seat was five dollars at Walmart so I'll show you the items used in the construction and how it's made and the principle behind it so we'll start by giving an overview of it i don't have it in its place right now because it's just easier for me to make a video um, with it out here like this so that's the overview of it and the lid So that's what it looks like and that's how simple it is the construction is really really simple I just used uh, some some um, plywood and screwed it all together screwed and glued it all together and then I made that piece in there which holds the five gallon bucket which is one of the components in it. And I have a computer fan that will draw, keep airflow going through it. And there's screen wire between the fan and the, and the housing of the toilet to keep bugs out. And I'll come around to the back of it. And that will hook to a hose that will vent to the outside. And basically that's all there is to it and there's all the wiring for the fan of course it's not gonna be that long but it'll tap into my existing wiring that I have run to the bathroom next is the five gallon bucket it's just your plain simple everyday five gallon bucket I did put plastic bag inside it which makes emptying it a lot simpler but that's it just a plastic bag inside a regular five gallon bucket and the bucket sits down inside here if you can see those little pieces of wood hold it on all four sides so it can't fall over or nothing and it always goes back in the same spot that I put it in I have the lid upside down now so you can see how I constructed it and as you can see I have these pieces of wood here and they go on the inside of the box and then these channels fit on top of the plywood and then I added these half round pieces here to make it look better and it add, acts like a handle. This is the funnel which is a part is the uh, the urine separator you can go online and buy a urine diverter but they're gonna cost 75 80 bucks for them and a Dollar Tree do uh, funnel works just fine and this is the pea catcher it's just a Milo's one gallon tea jug and I have an extension put on it so that the funnel from the urine separator will fit down inside that funnel there and this I'll show you just goes right down in here and sits right 
just like that. Sits in there just like that. And that's how that sits. So the way it works is your solids go into the bucket and then you cover it with sawdust or peat moss or coconut husk, whatever you want. And that dries it out and the airflow helps to dry it out. And the urine goes into the bucket and then you just dump it out when it's full. By separating the liquids from the solids, you don't get any smells. This is actually a lot more sanitary than a chemical toilet. Um, we've used this toilet several times, or one time for an extended period of time, and it was fine. So, that's my first composting toilet build, but I like it. And with it all put back together, you get to see Chelsea's beautiful artwork that she's done on this thing. And she's sad because she said this was her favorite part of it. And the way it sits in the bathroom, you won't be able to see it that well. But that's the front of it. And you can see all of her fish and octopi and coral and starfish. All kinds of neat things she's done to this. And oh, lots of bubbles. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Inside the lid, I used this weather strip foam here. Pick it up at Walmart, pretty cheap. Um, and what I do, I ran it around the inside of the lid. And then I also ran some around underneath the seat. And what that does is it provides a seal when everything's closed. There's a seal all the way around so no bugs or anything can get in it. And it does the same thing for the lid. Makes a little seal all the way around it. So if you have the wood and the materials, you know, to build this thing, you could probably put one together for $10 or so. But that's my composting toilet. Um, in a little bit, I'm going to put it in the bathroom and hook it up. This is the vent hose here that's going to vent it out of the back. This vent hose and that plenum piece I got out of the Vogue motorhome that I used to uh, build this camper. So, but anyway, that's what it looks like and that's how it works. And here's the toilet in its location in its home. As you can see, I have the hose just coming out the back, the vent hose, and it just runs out the back. And this is a power wire. i got to clean it up. But that's where it's going to live, and that's how it's going to be. So one more thing off the list. We now have a working composting toilet. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that... If you enjoy what I'm doing here, um, please give me a like and a subscribe. And leave, leave down in the comments. Say hi. Tell me where you're from. What are y'all working on? And what else? What more would you like to see from this channel? Thanks for watching.